Hello there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sharifat and I'm based in Nova Scotia, Canada. On my YouTube channel, I just share my personal experience of my life here in Canada. Also, I do a bit of immigration because I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and LCIC. I hope you are going to leave for your visa application to come to Canada for study permits, work permits, squad missions, permanent residence, and all those good stuff. So if you need any of these services, please hook up with us and do tier list. We'll be happy to assist you with any of those. In this video today, I thought to share the process of renewing your Nigerian passport from Canada. So if you're in Canada and you're in Nigeria, you're looking to renew your passport, this video is for you. I'll be telling you how much it cost me, how long it took me, how long it took to get my passport back, and all of those uh, information. So if you'd like to hear that, please come with me on this, in this video and I'll tell you all, all the nitty gritty you need to know. Meanwhile, let me add this. So I always get people who say, I'm Canadian as well, by the way. I'm a Nigerian first and then a Canadian. So I have dual citizenship. Now, I always get people say, oh, once I get my Canadian, um, I'm a Canadian citizenship or UK or America, I'm going to tear, I'm going to like discard my Nigerian passport. I'm like, really? <laughs> There are so many things you need to my to my own knowledge. There are so many things you need your Nigerian passport for. And it's even beyond going to Nigeria. For example, if I was if my main reason to get this passport renewed was to go to Nigeria, I can go with my expired passport to Nigeria and have it renewed there because it's cheaper in Nigeria to have it renewed than in Canada. But that's not the primary reason I got my passport renewed. Which brings me to some things that you can you you might need your passport for besides going to travel to Nigeria with it, right? Of course, you can always get a visa on your Canadian passport to go to Nigeria as a Nigerian, but I don't see myself doing that. Like I'm a Nigerian, I don't want to get a, a visa to go to my country. Nah, I don't want to do that. So I'd rather go with my Nigerian passport. But that's not the main reason I got my passport renewed. I'll be sharing that with you. If I can, in a couple of months, uh, the actual reasons, the actual reason I got my Nigerian passport renewed. So if you like to see that, watch out for that video in a couple of months. If God spares my life, see you then and beyond. Okay, so come with me in this video. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, this picture is being circulated. You know, I saw it on one of the WhatsApp group I'm a member of, and it just tells you the process and the costs for getting your passport renewed, whether in Nigeria or in Canada. In Canada, it costs uh, one for the two dollars US dollars actually for the five year one, and the one for ten years it costs two forty two dollars uh, USD. And aside that uh, fee, there are other things you have to have to do uh, alongside paying the money. So I'll run you through uh, those requirements in this video. So this is me. I went to the bank to get my money order. One of the things uh, you also have to add is to get a money order of $50 it's called is for the according to them administrative fees uh for processing of the passport another requirement is to also get an express envelope if you if you live within ontario you get the regional uh, express envelope if you're outside of ontario you get the national uh, envelope the express one uh, that is to send your passport back to you when it is ready and then off i went to the airport uh, for my trip to ottawa so ottawa is the capital city of canada that's where the embassy is uh national nigerian eye commission that's where the passports are done however they also do what we call interventions where they go to other provinces aside from ontario they go to like you know, other places and they can so if you're if like if you're many of you are looking to renew your passport or get a new passport they come to your city and then have it renewed uh but i didn't want to do that because i didn't know whether they were going to come to my city again and i wanted that that passport as soon as possible for something i needed to you know get uh done so i flew to ottawa uh in january yeah about two weeks ago uh this trip so my this is me at the airport in ottawa waiting for my friend who came to pick me up the good part of this trip is that i didn't have to pay for accommodation because i have my friend who came pick me up and also asked me for four days and three nights i've been to ottawa as well to renew my passport in 2017 a friend also asked me so uh, maybe that's why it's easier for me to go to ottawa to renew my passport and wait for the intervention to take place because i get a save on accommodation and more importantly 
I need that thing. I need the passport as soon as possible. So I don't want to take chances by waiting for an intervention exercise. Anyway, this is me. The next day I got to Ottawa. Uh, I had my appointment. Meanwhile, you have to book an appointment prior to going. Don't just show up at their office. From what they say, you don't attend to you. You must make your payments, fill out your application forms, bring, uh, bring it along with you, and also book an appointment. And then they have to see that that appointment is the day you come. So this is me at the... At the um, I commissioned, I met some other Nigerians there as well. I got here around 9.30 a.m. or so. I don't think I spent more than one hour in total. It was quite fast. So all I did really there was capturing. All we went to do there was capturing. And then we took, so if you are renewing your passport, you bring the old one along with you. Without that, they will not give you a new one. So you have to bring the old one so they can cancel that old one to renew, to, re, to issue you another one. So that's what happened. I took the old one the application fee, my payment slip, I also passport as well, passport photograph, one one copy as well, and that's what happened in, in about an hour or less I was done, and then I went around the city to explore a bit. Also, let me also say that I didn't go just for passport, I spent four days and three nights, so technically it was a two-in-one for me, it was a solo trip, vacation, I would say, and then to renew my passport, so I would not say it's really passport. Yippee! My Nigerian passport is here after two weeks and one day. I'm so excited. See my passport. So I went to renew my passport and here is my passport. I'm going to unveil it. And here are the passports. So the old one and the new one. So you have to attach the old one. You have to put the old one in the envelope and then they'll send both back to you. The old one and the new one. Here I have it. My passport. Nigeria forever. So I got the one that's for 10 years validating instead of five years that I had before. I'm not sure if there was 10 years when I applied for this one. I'm not sure. But anyway, so what I have now is for 10 years and for six, and 64 pages. So in total, I would say this cost me a little above $1,000, Canadian dollars, uh, $242 USD. So it came to about $350 approximately in Canadian dollars. Uh, my flight was about four hundred dollars approximately that was seven fifty and some other things the money order the passport the envelope uh my uber so without accommodation i'll say it cost me a little over one thousand dollars so if you are looking to go and you have to also factor in accommodation so i'll say if i was to pay for accommodation depending on the accommodation type you get if it's an airbnb or a hotel i would say we between two fifty dollars to five hundred dollars and feeding, I'll say between three hundred to five hundred dollars, really, for accommodation for those uh, three days I, I spent. We you may not spend up to that, so I uh, factor that in. So, so what you see on the screen, you know, are the requirements to get a fresh passport or to renew your passport. So please read it through. Or best bet, go to the website. I had the website on the screen earlier. If you missed this, please check it out. Uh, go back and say, uh, please go to the website because things do change. So this is me. Uh, staying from my experience which happened two weeks ago so if you need to renew please go to the official website and check out the updated information but this is my you know my process this is how it went for me was it went well it went smooth and i'm very grateful that you know i have my passport for what i needed for to the glory of god i hope you enjoyed my video thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it if you find it useful Please uh, comment here, uh, subscribe if you are yet to, and if you know anybody looking to want to go renew their passports, you could share this to them as well. Thank you very much and have a great time. All the best. Bye.